You guys, what's going on? It's Jeff here, hopping on. Want to do just a quick AMC video about profit taking. If this thing does squeeze, when, if, whatever you want to call it, if it does take place, how are most people going to play this? Um, I personally think, you know, profit's profit. I think with the way the last three months with GameStop and AMC and everybody kind of in this as a whole gang of folks together, there's enough information out there to know to hold. Um, I think a lot of people are concerned, you know, are, is somebody, is this going to run up 30, 40, 50 bucks? And is it going to be a massive panic sale? I think if this played out 15 years ago before the internet, it would obviously be a bigger deal. But I think this movement is so big with this that you're not going to see people freak out. You know, even, if we're, people are in at eight, nine, 10 bucks and it runs up 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks, that's a lot of profit. That's a lot of gains. And it's going to be hard for a lot of people to hold on to that, right? Um, I kind of drew up with my sloppy old handwriting here. Um, the ideal situation, what kind of panic, how many people are going to sell off over here if it continues to look like these different charts? Sorry about my sloppiness here. It's the best I could do, you guys. <laughs> Um, so in an ideal world, obviously right here, you want to sell at the peak. Now you're going to have better luck finding Jimmy Hoffa than selling at the top of that peak. It's not going to happen. Sure. Some people are going to get lucky. They're going to sell there and go, Oh my God, I timed it perfectly. Raw. I'm a badass. Blah, 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 whatever. Right. Chances are very good chance. You're not going to sell here. Right. Um, you know, let's just say down here, this is where we're at at 10 bucks, right? um 20 30 40 let's just say 80 bucks somewhere in there uh let's say this is a hundred um how many people are going to take profits from here to here i think a lot more are going to hold than they would have like i said years and years and years ago so i mean the ideal thing is you want to hold all the way through this this little chart here my rough looking chart it would be a gradual perfectly gone up yeah 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 and then you're going to sell off here, obviously, right? In an ideal world, that's what's going to take place, okay? Um, the thing I think a lot of people are worried about is something like this. Let's just say we're at our 10 buck type of mark. And, you know, this is 60 bucks. Just throwing any old number out there, right? And then all of a sudden we see a wham, a massive drop. How many people are going to panic in that and sell? Um, I don't know. I don't think a ton. Because this is going to happen. This is probably not going to happen like this. You don't know how this chart's going to look. We can get a rough idea that it's going to be something massive like this. Depending on the time frame of the chart, it's going to look like that. Or the Volkswagen squeeze, if you ever look at that chart, most of those charts show something like this, this, straight back down, and it looks like that. But it's not spread out and it's not over time, right? But... I think a lot of people are going to hold on the way up right here. I don't see a lot of people panicking. So, you know, if you're at 60 bucks here and you drop down to 30 something bucks here, how much of a sell off is going to be there? You know, and then if it rides way the back back up, these people are going to, you know, jump off a cliff. Right. So and then another thing, too, you know, well, let's say we're down here at this 10 buck type of a region, 100 here. Okay, this is all hypotheticals. By no means am I saying this is going to take place. But if it does, 300, 400, you know, 500. A steady, nice, clean breakup, this type of movement here. How many people are going to take these profits in any of these areas here, you know? I think a lot of people, you know, a lot of people saying, okay, I'm not selling at a thousand bucks or 500 bucks. And you hear those crazy numbers of $10,000. Could it hit those? Of course it could. Anything could happen. Um, I don't have any predictions. This is way too volatile to know anything. If it does squeeze, it's going to go up hundreds and hundreds and if not thousands of percents, you know, um, I don't think we have anything to be concerned with with any of this. I think a lot of people are going to hold. That's my honest opinion. So, I mean, don't panic about that stuff. Oh, is everybody going to sell off and then the game's all over? I don't think so, you guys. I don't. That's just my opinion, but I don't think it's going to happen, right? And then the more concerning type of one is something like this. This is a pretty violent, rough-looking chart. Boy, good thing I'm not a chart, chart drawer. 
Um, you know, let's say we take off. Then we have a lot of these violent downs, up, down, up, down. And then this is, you know, this is probably the scariest case scenario here where, you know, somebody's gotten, you know, massive gains here and then off. And then it goes back up, repeat, repeat on the way up. Um, this is probably the higher risk one as far as people getting out of it. But there's so much going on with this, you guys. I don't see a lot of people in any type of these scenarios here really selling off on this thing until it does blast off. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't. You know, I'm nobody. I'm just some dude on the Internet here. But it's going to go up a lot if this squeeze does take place. So nobody panic. Hold. Take some profits along the way. People are saying, oh, don't do that. Don't sell out and don't take your profit. Do whatever you want to do. It's your money. Profit's profit. You know, I'm a swing trader. It took me a lot of years to, you know, I, the kind of guy I am is I, I used to gamble a lot, right? And when I gambled, I was the kind of guy that would sit there with $480 worth of chips, right? And I would go, okay, well, I'll, I'll, as soon as I hit $500, i will leave. That $480 would turn to zero. Then I'd be back at the cash machine, but I just had these weird squeeze every dollar out of every situation that I was in gambling stock market. And it took me years to, you know, with swing plays, you're not always going to catch it at the targets. You're not always going to catch it. Profits, profit. And I had to learn a, a lot. It took me a long time to get that in my head that, you know, hey, if I'm only 40 percent into a play and it hit the targets, damn it, I should have put more money in there. Well, of course you should have. You know, the stock market's not easy or everybody be sitting at home doing it, right? So I wouldn't panic about that, you guys. If anybody's, you know, thinking about that, in my opinion, which doesn't mean much, right? I think these people are going to hold through any of these scenarios, if that makes any sense, right, you guys? So that's it. I just wanted to hop on and go over that. I was thinking about tonight. I was actually talking to my partner about that, about taking profits and trying to figure out what we're going to do. We don't know. We don't know if the squeeze is going to happen. We don't know where it's going to go. We don't know how it's going to play out. We don't know what the chart's going to look like. We don't know what other people are going to do. We don't know what hedge funds are going to do. We don't know nothing about nothing. Anybody telling you anything different lying through their teeth, right? So that's it, you guys. Pre-market in about two hours and nine minutes. Have a good week. I'm really fired up about this week. We got that. Remember the key dates. 420 and 422, Tuesday and Thursday, 420, those shares should be counted, 422, we got the SEC ruling going in, I did a video on that two videos ago, but awesome, you guys, this should be a really, really good week, um, let's go, Moonball, corner pocket, I'll leave you with this on the way out the door, good night, guys, get some sleep, get up, pre-market, open market, whatever, here we go, love you all, thanks, guys. Like, subscribe if you can. Us? We're going to the moon. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are going to the moon. Yes! You get it? Yeah! You get it? And when I get up there, yeah, I'm going to look down at them.